generation iron app on Google Play and the App Store. I'm not a morning person. I'm dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. What was your routine like um, in your prime? What was your routine like? What was your daily routine like? Did you have one uh, when you were prepping for a competition? Yeah, when, when you're prepping, you know, you th three three days on, one day off, you know, train t you do a split training, morning, noon, and, and then night, you know, smaller body parts like calves, arms, uh, lower back, stuff like that. You do you, hamstrings, you, you do at night. And the bigger body parts you <clears throat> you tend to do in in the in the morning uh, as the show gets closer i ramp up my cardio like, like i said it'll be a 6 a.m 6 a.m cardio uh, back in the gym by 11 o'clock training uh, another 45 minutes of cardio come back around seven o'clock 7 30 at night train some small body parts and another 45 minutes of cardio wow, a lot of cardio man. i did a lot of cardio i i was one of the guys who would do two hours a day, you know, sometimes even a little more. Wow. You know. Didn't bother me. I didn't, a lot of guys say they lose, they, they lose muscle mass when they do cardio. Actually, I didn't lose any muscle mass from doing cardio. Is stair Stairmaster or? or uh... No, treadmill and bike. Oh, wow, okay. Treadmill, yeah, treadmill and bike. So what was your, what was your weight like off, um, off season and then contest wise? Oh, I guess in the later years, um, I'd go up to about 320, 325, and uh, competed around 280 pounds, which I, I believe for me the best weight competing went, was right around 265. You know, mm -hmm. to that, you know, even at even at that size, people thought I was the biggest thing they've ever seen. You know, it was just the proportion, right, and just the the, the muscle bellies were just so full that uh, it gave it gave an illusion and then of course the small small joints like flex wheeler small joints such such full muscle belly that it gave the illusion that i was actually bigger than i was you know it's like i look at someone like kai green and these guys going on stage at you know 285 290 pounds and i think they're five foot two right <laughs> I don't know about five two, but like five eight. I, I know. I know. I know. I think. I think they're. I think those guys are probably around five nine, five ten, something like that. It's just crazy. I mean, that's that's insane. I wow. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, you. I mean, you were sort of six three. I mean, that's that's a that's a huge frame. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, you know, I was always told as a, as a kid, bodybuilding is an illusion. You know, and I guess I was one of the biggest illusionists, right? Um, is absolutely, absolutely. Um, so in every sport, people always argue who was the top five of all time, right? Top five bodybuilders of all time, in your opinion. Can you give me the five names that you think that are the best bodybuilders of all time? Man, it's so hard to say that. Um, because, you know, I love Serge Nubre, you know? Mm -hmm. Serge just, wow, what, you know, what a physique. There's... I, there's no way I could give top. I, I couldn't give. I couldn't give five. You know, I could not give five. Uh, Sean Ray. You know, most people would say what? I'm like, no. Sean was amazing. Sean, man, nobody. The one thing you had to give Sean, every every time that man come into a show, he was always on point, condition wise. He was always on point. There was a one or two shows, maybe he was a tad bit, but he was incredible. You know, I mean. There's, like I said, there's, there's so many guys that I could talk about that for me, I don't have a top five. I probably have a top 20 or something like that, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know because there's, I, I just admired so many guys. Like I said, Mike Christian, Barry DeMay, you know, Tom Platts. I mean, that's even before I get into the 90s, right? I mean, mm -hmm. oh, and, and uh, it's Robbie Robinson. Like, I, I was, I loved Robbie Robinson, you know, I, so yeah. there was something about, there was something about each one of these guys that you liked, you know? For sure. uh, yeah. So I don't, I don't, a lot of guys, they may have a top five. I, I don't have a top five just because I just think there's too many amazing bodybuilders, too many greats that it's, I just, it's not, I couldn't, couldn't, I wouldn't be doing it. I wouldn't be doing it any justice, you know, to say which top, which guys do I think is a top five. 
I can't leave myself out, you know. I mean, I still have I still have some attributes that, that no one has yet to match, you know. Um, I don't know if anyone is gonna is gonna ever match it, you know. 